First came the swearing in, now the procession and ball. You watched the inauguration of Governor Brad Little live right here on KTBB yesterday afternoon. But now tonight, KTBB Shira Matsuzawa was at the celebration for Little's official introduction as Idaho's newest governor. Shira? Gretchen, Governor Little was back at the state capitol for that ball, as you mentioned. It's the same building where he took his oath of office just one day ago. Now, this was the 48th inaugural procession and ball. 3,000 people dressed up in their finest attire to take part in this long-standing tradition that allows people to see the elected officials that they voted for. This is what the procession looked like. The Idaho National Guard's 25th Army Band played as Governor Little and First Lady Teresa Little spiraled around the rotunda. They were joined by some other familiar faces. You can see Senator Risch and his wife Vicki, former governors Butch Otter and Dirk Kempthorne, as well as newly re-elected officials like Senator Brent Hill, Speaker of the House Scott Bedkeeks, and Senator Cherie Buckner-Webb. We caught up with the Public Affairs Officer for Idaho Military Division, Major Chris Borders, just before the event started. It's a unique opportunity for the men and women of the Idaho National Guard. Uh, it's a little bit different for us. It's not our combat or state emergency response mission. So it's, it's fun, it's an honor to be a part of this tradition of uh, celebrating the peaceful transition between the outgoing government and the incoming government. Major Borders goes on to say this event is especially important because not everywhere in the world is there a peaceful transition in government. Meantime, in case you're wondering, the ticket sales covered the cost of the inauguration, and if there are any additional revenue, it will go back to the state. The inaugural ball was first held in the newly built Capitol building in 1913. As for the event here, it's winding down, but there are still after parties happening around town, and they're all partying hard today because they know the real work begins on Monday. Gretchen? All right, Shira, you look amazing, and thank you very much for that live report.